What is up, YouTube? Welcome to another video. My name is Brianna Cortez, and we are going to be filming a full day of eating today specifically to gain muscle. So you'll notice that your girl does eat carbs. I eat a good amount of carbs when I'm speci specifically trying to gain muscle. Now, when I was on prep, my carbs were lower, um, but you know, I personally don't want to be on a low carb diet my whole entire life and I change my food up depending on what my goals are. So anyway, with that, I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. I don't have anything. I don't have meal prep made at the moment. I want to get back on it this weekend. The past pretty much like February, I haven't been meal prepping as much and I miss it and I need to do it again. Um, but today's just going to be a realistic day of eating. First and foremost, I want to show you two, two like vitamin supplements that I take every morning. Now you do have to eat food with this because if you don't eat food with it, I have like gotten like slightly nauseous and it literally says on the label two to eat with food. So make sure you eat with, to eat with food, two capsules each. Um, that is pretty much the start of my day. And then I will usually drink like 16 to 20 ounces before I eat anything. Um, this, I just refilled a water bottle. Now I need to really clean my hydro drug. Do you guys do that? You guys have like a favorite water bottle you're using and then you have to clean it. And for some reason, cleaning it just seems like it's going to be, it's just such a big task when realistically, I know in my mind it's probably going to take like two minutes, if that. But for some reason, I've been neglecting it. So anyway, I'm drinking out of this plastic water bottle. But I do recycle and also I do refill this multiple times a day. So yes. But I do try to eat, drink like a water bottle or 20 ounces or so out of a cup before I eat. I'm going to show you what I'm eating today. This is going to be my breakfast and pre-workout meal. So I don't want anything super, super heavy. I'm going to be doing a Greek yogurt. This Greek yogurt I found from Aldi. It's zero fat, 10 carb, 13 protein. So pretty good. I'm going to be doing a small banana or eating a small banana and then also half a bagel. So with all of this, I haven't tracked it yet, but this is 10 carbs. This is probably like 15, 15 carbs or so. And then this is like 25 carbs. So it's like 40, like about 50 carbs for my pre-workout meal. And then roughly maybe under just under like 15, maybe 15, maybe 15, under 20 grams of protein. So anyway, that's going to be my pre-workout meal. Then for pre-workout, I'm going to be doing this. It's probably going to be the last scoop because I have been using it every single workout. Don't get me wrong. I still love my rainbow sherbet, but for some reason, this is just seems so good and refreshing. Like I look forward to drinking this on my way to the gym. It's the orange mango pre-gym. It is now on the website. It's the newest flavor that has launched on the website. It was on bodybuilding.com, but I think their contract ended. So anyway, now gym can sell it specifically. And I have my shaker here. I will usually do eight to 12 ounces of water. Um, again, I do like the taste of this. So it's not like I just try to like get it over with and drink. Like in the past, there's been pre-workouts that I really do not like the taste of. And I'll literally mix it with like four or six ounces and I'll just try to like get it down. But with this one, I actually enjoy it. So I'm going to be using a little bit more water with it. And yeah, so that's my pre-workout meal. We're going to go hit legs and then I'll show you my post-workout meal. What's up, you guys? Just got back from the gym. I am so excited. Waffles, are you excited? Are you excited? Do you want to know what's in this box? We got a delivery from Jim. J-Y-M. It is the supplement brand that I am sponsored by. And oh, my hair is crazy. And I absolutely love their products. So I'm going to show you what I got. And then we will continue on with this full day of eating. Okay. So <laughs> I like how waffles is like in the video. Okay. Probably going to try to attack that. He's kind of curious, but also confused at the same time. Whoa! Okay. So, they pack it so that everything kind of stays in place. So, I'll start with these first and foremost. These are the ISO ways. They are a way isolate. It's basically like protein water or like a juice, basically. So, it's not your traditional protein shake that is pretty thick. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like the thick milk, the 
thick protein shakes that kind of remind me of like milkshakes and are super sweet. But sometimes I just want something with water and lighter and they're just super refreshing. Even when it's cold outside today, I'm going to do probably a shake. But anyway, this is the mango lime. I haven't had this flavor yet. And then this is a watermelon. We had this at the Fit Expo and I love it so much. So anyway, one of the other athletes said mango lime was their favorite whey isolate. Haven't tried it yet. So we're going to give it a go. There are 20 servings for per container. If protein, let's say like protein shakes hurt your stomach, one JYM, they aren't as heavy lactose based and they use higher quality protein. So it shouldn't hurt your stomach as much, but these are really great too. They are 90 calories for one scoop, zero fat, one carb, no sugar, and 20 grams of protein. So honestly, you could do one or two scoops, 20, 40 grams of protein. I know protein is hard for some of you guys to get in and hit every day. So honestly, this is just a really easy way to just get in that extra protein if you're short. So I went ahead and got two more proteins because we're all about that protein life, okay? Protein, I probably go, I probably run out of the fastest because I, again, will do like one to two scoops a day. This is the vegan plant-based oatmeal cookie. I'm not even a plant-based gal and I love this one. And it's like literally everyone's favorite or at least top three at JYM headquarters. People who try it, it's oatmeal cookie. It is so good. You won't regret it. Honestly, just mix it with water and it is, it's, it's so good. I've never liked a vegan protein ever. I usually think that they taste like dirt. Um, no offense, but that's just been my, my, the past and my experiences. But when I tried the oatmeal cookie, I literally did not believe that it was plant-based. I was like, there's no way, there's no way. I also went ahead and got the strawberry milk. So I actually haven't had this flavor yet. I have tried most of Jim's products, but there's just some flavors of things that I haven't tried yet because I found some that I just really like and I've just gotten like the Rocky Road. For example, I've gotten multiple times the vanilla. It's so versatile. I've gotten a couple times. So I am like, you know, I need to try all of the flavors and I feel like you can't go wrong with strawberry milk. I even loved strawberry milk growing up. Like the Nesquik, you like put it in milk and drink it. That was my jam. I got a shaker because some of our shakers are kind of old and they the caps are like really hard to like get like off or they leak and I'm like, you know what? I just love gyms, they're high quality and I haven't gotten a ton of them cuz I'm like we have shakers in the cabinet, but like the shakers they have served their purpose and their their life and you know, we're moving on to better things. Last but not least, I got pre-gym X. Now this stuff is strong. It's stronger than the pre-workout that I had earlier. It basically has doubles. So essentially what the difference between this and the pre-workout I showed you earlier is there's still 300 grams of protein, or sorry, I'm so like protein right now talking about all this, 300 grams of milligrams of, ca 300 milligrams of caffeine, but this is almost like the pre and post workout combined. So you get your like amino acids, your creatine, everything in there. So you don't technically have to get or drink the pre workout and post workout. Because honestly, after workout, I'm like, okay, I got to eat. I got to get my protein in. I got to take my fish oils and I got to drink my BCAAs and then just continue on with life. And I've had a harder time, I think, out of all the supplements to take are the BCAAs, which they're so important. So this one, this is going to help my just overall. If you're, if there's something like challenging for you, there most likely will always be a way to make it easier. And for me, this is easier because I just have to drink one thing instead of two things. And then I don't have to be so hard on myself about being inconsistent about taking it like some weeks I'm really good and I'm really on it and I love it. And then there's other weeks where I'm like, shoot, I haven't taken it. So anyway, this is a solution and these are pretty much everything that I got. So four proteins, a pre-workout and a shaker. Um, we'll see how long these will last. So this has about 25 servings. This has about 25, 24 servings. Um, so that's like 49 and then 20 and 20. So yeah, we're going to be set on protein for a while, but I'd rather just do like a big order at once, get everything at once, and then 
yeah and then just like do a big restock instead of just ordering one and then by the time they ship it and get it and you have to wait and if i'm running low and anyway just be stocked up if you want to save money on your order you can use code brianna b-r-e-a-n-n-a -N -N -A, or i have a link i'll put it down below and if you do order with my code please let me know so i can thank you because yeah i am so i'm so grateful that you use my code and i seriously love these products like i seriously love them fun little fact is i have been offered to be sponsored by other brands and um they've even attached like monetary value to it some of the offers were a little bit hard to pass up because i was like wow it's a really great offer they really want me to be sponsored but I just didn't like the products. Like I just, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So I stand behind Jim and they're an awesome company, awesome people that work there. It's like a family. And again, like the products are just amazing. So anyway, thank you for watching this segment. We're going to continue on now with the full day of eating because we love food. Yeah. And I just hit legs. So it was a pretty good leg day also. I feel really good. Like my muscle connection was really good. I went up in my narrow stance, uh, Smith machine squats and had a pretty good pump and yeah, we're just feeling good. So anyway, let's eat some food. Up, up. Okay. The waffles are ready and I'm so excited. I added a little bit more than I was planning on and I'm happy I did show you guys. So for the waffles, I believe I put in my fitness pal. I'll double check, but I think it's 65 carb, five fat and 42 protein. So with my basically pre-workout and post-workout, so essentially my breakfast and lunch today, I'm already at 60 grams of protein. And then my dinner will have high protein and then I'll probably have a high protein snack. So kind of separate it into about four times of eating protein or so, because your body will digest it and absorb it better than if you just ate it like in one or two. So if you like spread it out more throughout the day, your body will just digest digest it and absorb it better. So you don't have to eat like six to eight times a day, but if you can separate it, it'll be better. So let's go ahead and show you. Now, I definitely don't want to spill it because I think I would cry, but we're going to go ahead and add some syrup because this is so low calorie i am just estimating what two tablespoons is like um i can even estimate just a little bit more just to just to play it safe but let me show you guys a close-up of this meal also by the way it took me a little bit longer to make because i was on the phone while the waffles were cooking but if i cut the strawberries and mix the pb fit together um beforehand it would have taken less time so it was probably like 20 minutes or so, but again, you could probably make it in like 10. Um, and I was just like taking my time and just whatever. But yeah, so that's how long it took. But let me show you a close up now because it's gonna be so good. I'm so excited. Here it is. I didn't want to put all the strawberries on it because I wanted you to be able to see the waffle itself. This is chocolate PB fit. So it's gonna be like a protein, vanilla, peanut butter, chocolate banana no not banana sorry chocolate strawberry waffle i'm so excited okay you guys this is so good you do need syrup in my opinion i mean i like syrup in everything or on everything okay not everything but waffles pancakes even my oatmeal i enjoy 10 times better with syrup but um i feel like with the protein powder and the kodiak cakes mix it can make it dry. I can try it with an egg or maybe with using milk instead of water next time. But when adding the syrup, it helps it not be as dry, if that makes sense. And I honestly can't really taste the peanut butter that much because maybe the chocolate and the strawberry are just a little bit more overpowering, which I'm okay with. I'm going to try the same recipe with the vanilla protein powder, but that's okay. Also, whenever you have a meal, always have water with you. This is my third water bottle today. 
honestly, I would probably be closer to like four at this time today, but that's okay. I try to drink about 100 to 113, like a gallon or so a day. So I think it's like seven water bottles, but we're going to finish our third one and it's still like early afternoon. So we have plenty of time to finish, but yeah, always keep water with you and in front of you have it like at, in your workouts before you eat anything first thing in the morning with your meals. It'll help keep you full and satiated too. So instead of just eating all of this and then if I was still hungry, going back and just like eating more, if like you still do feel hungry, chug a bunch of water and I promise you that as long as you're eating like a high protein or high fiber or just high volume food that you won't feel hungry anymore, if that makes sense. Um, also, I did double check the macros on my fitness pal and the final macros with all of this, with the PB Fit, Kodiak cakes, protein, and strawberries, and um, the syrup is 62 carb, 7 fat, and 42 protein. So anyway, this will be a pretty filling meal for me, and yeah. And a snack I'm having later in the afternoon. A big dinner because we're a little bit behind on macros. So yeah, this is very, a lot of carbs, a lot of protein. Okay, everyone, it is the end of the day and now I'm going to have my last meal. Honestly, I'm not super hungry for this meal. Like I could eat, but we have goals to reach. I'm eating about 2,200 calories a day. I am in a surplus and I'm trying to stay as consistent with it as possible. So without further ado, let's get into the next meal. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know so then I can post more food, full day of eatings for you in this journey. And yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this meal to be honest, but yeah, let me know what your favorite meal was of this whole video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So we have a bowl with some rice that was already made previous day, two eggs and some avocado with some sriracha, and then ending the night off with something sweet, one of these no-cow dipped chocolate peanut butter cups that I got from the LA Fit Expo. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.